Keith, KG's Garage, and today, or almost tonight, it's getting dark out. A lot of wind, it's cool out, a lot of clouds. Anyway, I'm gonna be putting these uh, Cover 80 seat covers on my 2021 Bolt right there. So let's, uh, Go see what the inside looks like. I gotta make sure the interior is clean. Okay, so here's the seats I have in there now. Just regular black. I'm putting these new seat covers in here. This, these aren't the most comfortable seats. Um, that's nice. They're really thin. Like this back hit here is like nothing in the back here. This I put here for the kids to kick so they stay, keep their feet off the back of my seat. But I'm gonna vacuum these this out. I have a seat cover that goes on the back here and on the front seats too. And you, you saw they're already they're uh, they're white. What the hell? So I wanted a little bit different uh, different color in here. I think the white's gonna would match this. Um, they had seat covers that had like. This teal color, it doesn't really match. I got the um, got the steering wheel cover, and it's a little bit off, but that's all right. I'm gonna open the package and see what the seat covers look like. I think it's like white and gray. But let me get out, get them out of here, and see what they look like. Okay, so it has instructions here. Front seats seem pretty straightforward. You take the seat cover, slide it over the top. Put this one, just put this one on here. Put some hooks, whatever. Front seat's done. Rear seats seem like it's a little more involved. So I'm going to do the rears first. There's all these pieces here. So I got to get all these pieces out. Put the hooks and what are these things called? The chuck. Hooks and the chuck on those. And then start doing it. So you do rear seat bottom, rear seat bottom, I don't know, rear seat back, rear seat back covers. Okay, well, that doesn't seem that hard. Um, the one thing is that I don't know about is in the middle I have a fold down cup holder thing there I don't know if that's gonna be able to uh, fold down anymore but whatever I don't sit back there okay I'm gonna show you what you gotta do with these seats um, I took the seat kind of almost all the way out uh, it has this middle seat belt goes through the middle here and I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to get this piece out. It has another connector there. Anyway, I'll show you when I get put this thing back together. Okay, I want to show you how the seat comes comes off ugh, on this thing. There's a lever here, and then over there, you just all you do is just flick it, and then the seat pops up. Then there's a connector. The connector right here goes anyway there's a connector somewhere on the seat um disconnect that you're able to lift this up here's the connector and the center seat belt will stay connected now if you want to get the center seat belt out i read take that bolt off or i'm sure there's some way to get this get this contraption to come apart because it's it, I, can, I can tell they click in something stopping so it's just I don't know there's got to be something where you press to do something and then this pops out I just can't figure it out and I'm not gonna sit here and figure mess with it uh, when I don't really have to um, also on a side note there's the battery disconnect the main fuse anyway because this is Chevy Bolt 
and I found a secret storage spot right here. So, to get the seat on, you can do it without taking this, the seat out. I mean, if I had the seatbelt off, it would come out, right? But you just take these straps. Oh, it's just screws it. Just take these straps and just strap them on there, and then one here, and there's there's a strap on the side right here. You put that over here, and then you just slide. Put that strap there, and then you just slide that through there, and that holds this side over. And then you just set it down. So, this one's on. I'm sure it's going to need some moving around a little bit. It's on. I'm going to also reconnect that connector before I forget. And I'm going to work on this side over here. Tell this with the light up. Alright, well. I had bottoms on. I'm not too happy. Not fitting that well. They don't fit well in this corner here. Seatbelts are a pain. They're getting all, they're bunching everything up because the uh, seat cover is hitting the the uh, seatbelts. Same thing over here. It's, and it's, this here is like not even on. And I'm done with it for a couple, for a little while because it's raining out and the thing, everything keeps getting wet. My back is wet drying it every second so I'm gonna quit for now and I will come back to this when the weather's nicer and I can get this back on there a little bit easier I don't know what the heck I'm gonna have to do but yeah it's raining and I'm tired of drying this off all the time okay I have the rear seat cover in doesn't fit exactly how I like it to I mean right here it's kind of bunched up uh, here, I had to fix this. There's a... This piece has another piece attached to it, and I was running it under the seat, which is the wrong thing to do. It needs to just run underneath these, these seat covers. So it's a piece that runs under here. Uh, it's... I'm not messing with it. It runs underneath these, and then this goes on top of it to make it look nice. I'm not that crazy about these headrests. Um, I might take these off. I mean, they're they're sewn on here. Maybe I could push them behind it. I don't know. I don't really like it. This So this back seat I'm not that happy with. The other thing is now I don't have access to the armrest um, and the cup holder in the back. So that's a little bit of an issue. I guess I could take that thing out I don't know uh, but the next thing is I I'm gonna put a little hint little uh, preview I put the front seat over there I have, to, I have to put the front seat cover on this driver's side I have to take these off first this was just so when the kids kick the back seat it won't damage it so he's just uh, come right off so that's that. Huh, fruit loops. Get out of here. Put those aside. That'll be my, my dinner, I guess. So, uh, you know, let's put this stuff in the back. There's some dirt on the seat. I'm gonna vacuum it, get all the stuff out of here, and. Start putting this thing on here. I'll show you what I gotta do. Okay, the first thing you do is get the seat cover on. So, you gotta pop all these little these buttons here. Put this over. Put it over like so. Headrest, slide it down. Okay. Then this thing here goes through the headrest. I'm gonna snap these. Let's bring the seat back up. Bring the seat back up. Come on. Okay. Now 
now we just do this on there. Okay, it's got a pocket on here, so it's kind of neat. You get three of these things, and there's straps right here. So you put these on, you put these straps on. So now you send these through the bottom of the seat here, in between the top half and the bottom half. Send it through. I can reach around, pull the seat up, seat up. Reach around the other side. Okay, look here, so there they are. And then there's two straps on the back. And you just, all these things do is just sit there like that. They just sit like this and they can't get pulled through because they're up in that position. So now you take this loop here, and you loop it on, and you loop it on that one. Do the same on the other one. And then you have the back done. Let's do that real quick. I don't know if you can see it, but that strap is on there. I'm just pulling it down. Make sure the airbag is on this side where the airbag would blow out. I don't know what's gonna happen if it blows out, but I did that. This, this the other thing I don't like is look how loose this is. But let's get the bottom on. The bottom, it's got these little clips. So this goes over like this, and the clip, one clip goes through the, between the seats, and this one goes around, and that's how it straps in. Let me just make sure this is, okay. And then on the front, you get metal hooks. You got these metal clips right, these metal hooks right here. You hook them on that. Stretch you right there, and you hook it on on the, something there. There's um some holes under there. I was able to grab, so that's what I did. But let's get this these pieces through there. All right, I shoved those through. Let me uh, grab the clip there. This is coming through the back of the seat right here. And this one. Let's find the other one. This one was a this one's a pain actually. I gotta grab it from here. Like this. Alright. And then I got that one clipped. So I pulled it from here all the way down. Put this back on. Okay, so it doesn't the other thing is over here. No matter what I try to do, this gets in the way of the levers. This right here. And try to bring it there. Brought it on the other side of this lever. And that should still be able to work. Yeah, it works still. Now I gotta get this front ones on. This was a pain. This is a pain too, because you need to open up this, this space right here a little bit. And hook it on there. Here's the other one. And here, and then you can't see the clamp it onto something underneath here. Um, you want it to move with the seat too. So right, all right. So right there, there's a hole. I'll show you once I get to it. But I'm gonna try to shoot for that hole. That's what I did in the other ones, and over there too. Actually, I might get in the I might get in the way when I lower the seat. That hole right there gets covered up a little bit when you um start lowering the seat and i can't believe there's rust under here 20 this is a 2021 it was freaking surface rust on the inside bizarre okay let me uh hook these up and then i have the headrest to do okay here's the headrest and you take this this is on the back side it goes on the back side, you shove it in between the headrest and the seat. It has Velcro on this side. Put it up in here. 
pull this so it's tight. Pull this down. And the Velcro grabs it. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the, the headrests. I'll drive around for a little while and see if I like it. Because really, I just wanted to get these seats to protect the seats underneath. The other bolt I had, the seats started wearing out and I had 30,000 miles on it and with the kids in there. I mean, granted, it was a white seat, not these black seats, but still, they started wearing on the edges and stuff like that, so this will hopefully protect it. But um, I feel pretty comfortable. A um, little more padding than the other, than the stock seats, not as hard. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see how they, they last. Um, if you want to get a pair of these seats, I like the front seats fit a lot better than the back. Like I said, with the back seats, I, I, you lose the um, arm armrest and cup holder back there. I don't really want anybody putting anything in cup holders back there, so I'm kind of fine with it. Uh, and that's it. I'll, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to get these seats. And this is in a uh, 2021 Bolt. I think this they're really kind of like universal size seats. I think they have different sizes. I don't remember what this is. I'll I'll put the exact ones that I um that I bought in the uh, description. Alrighty, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a great day, and talk to you later. Bye.